everybody this is dream and today we have our hockey slate here there's an eight game slate or actually a nine game slate here on DraftKings. so we have um, a pretty good slate here uh some good games uh so from the goalie perspective i really have just three guys to or four guys to actually take a quite a good look at here so i'm gonna start with logan um thompson for vegas uh, he's averaging 18 fantasy points a game today. This season, I expect him to get in the 15 to 20 range in this particular matchup. Uh, then we'll look at uh, Vile uh, Husso, who's averaging 16 fantasy points a game. I've got him in the 12 to 15 range on this particular game. He's had some ups and downs this season. Uh, Jake o Oettinger uh, for uh, Dallas. Um, he's averaging 17 fantasy points a game this season. I've got him 15 to 25 in this matchup. Uh, and then finally, my value play at the position is Matt Murray, who, as you can see, I actually has him listed here. He's coming back from injury today, and I have him in the 15 to 20 range in the scoring department. He's also my favorite play at goalie on this particular slate. Uh, then we're going to look at centers. And uh, so I've got Matthews here as my top overall guy. I've got him averaging 15 and a half fantasy points this season, and I look for him to get 20 plus today. I think he has a lot of opportunity in this game. Uh, then we're going to look at uh, Jack Eichel. Uh, he's actually cheaper over here on uh, uh, DraftKings than he is on FanDuel. And he's in a similar position as Matthews where he should be able to get over 18 fantasy points in this matchup. Uh, then we look at Jack Hughes, who I like here at $7,400. Um, he's at about a 20, uh, 15 to 20 uh, range for me today. Um, then Sidney Crosby here. I've got him in the 13 to 15 range on this particular slate. Um, then we're going to look at uh, Barkov for Florida. Um, I have him in the 14 to 20 range on this particular slate. Uh, then we have um, Heischer for New Jersey. Uh, I have him a little bit lower in the 10 to 12 range. Uh, I think he's a good value play on the slate, but not a great one. Um, then we're going to look at Hines uh, for Dallas. Uh, he's a better value play, I think, and I have him at the 12 to 15 range on this particular slate. Uh, then we're going to look at uh, Trevor uh, Zigras here for uh, Anaheim. And I've got him in the 12 to 15 slate. And then I have one uh, super value play here with uh, with uh, God Godro for uh, Minnesota. Now, uh, he I have in the 8 to 15 range on the slate. He hasn't been very good at, until the last game. Obviously, he got a goal in the last game, so that helps a lot. But I still think he can get 10 to 15 points in this, somewhere between 8 and 15, rather, on this particular slate. Uh, and that's a really nice matchup for him. Uh, so then we're going to move into the wings. And since I already have him listed here, uh, Sam Reinhart is my favorite overall play on the slate. Just way too cheap for his potential here. Um, he's had some really solid games this season. He's not a huge scorer necessarily, but, you know, a 10 to 15 uh, point game here is going to be really doable for him. Uh, but then we're going to look at Alex Ovechkin here. Um, he's averaging 13 fantasy points a game. His last three games have not been ideal, but he's been pretty solid for most of the season, and I've got him in a 15 to 20 point range on the slate. Uh, Troy Terry looks like he's in a good spot here. Uh, and is a little bit cheaper and is in the same range of Ovechkin and 15 to 20 points. Uh, then we're going to look at uh, Johnny oops, Johnny Gardo here for the uh, Columbus Blue Jackets. He's been very inconsistent this season. I've got him in the 10 to 15 range on the slate. Uh, then we got Mitchell Marner, uh, who's one of the guys I really like today. Um, he's in the 10 to 15 range on the slate. Probably on the higher end, simply because he's been real, pretty consistent in the last few games. Uh, then we'll look at JT Miller uh, for uh, oops, Miller for uh, Vancouver. Um, he's a little bit cheaper here. He's averaging about the same, and he's been pretty consistent the last few games. I look for him to get in the 10 to 15 range on this particular slate. Uh, then we got look at Bertuzzi here. He's a nice value play. Um, now he's come, he's just come back from injury. Um, today and if assuming he does play you got to make sure he does i have him in the 10 to 15 range on the slate i think he's a pretty good play at a cheap discounted price uh, and then we're going to look at uh two more guys sam reinhardt oh never mind i already mentioned reinhardt uh adam uh henrique uh for uh anaheim 
Um, he's actually been really good the last few games. He, even though he started the season a little rough, he's been playing pretty well. Um, and he's just way too cheap, I think. He's also going to be on the uh, top line, so that's a nice advantage here. Um, and I look for him to get in the 9 to 15 range on this particular slate. Uh, then we're going to look at um, our defensive players. I have two defensive players on here already, Klingberg and Jordan Ben. Now, Klingberg, he's averaging about six fantasy points a game, uh, and I have him in the six to ten range on the slate. Uh, it's really usually good to pay down at this position so you can pay up at the others. Uh, and then Ben, uh, he's been um, actually had some really big games lately, and so I do like him in the ten-point range on this particular slate. And he's just a great value play uh, because he's only $2,500. Surprising. I don't know why he's that cheap. And so it makes him a good play. Uh, Owen Power here is a guy I like as a value play as well at $3,700. Um, he's averaging 7 fantasy points a game. And I look at him to get to 7 to 10 range in this matchup. Um, and then Aaron Ek Ekblad here for Florida. Um, I like him to get a 7 to 10 range uh, as well. Um then we're going to get up a little bit more expensive here at Mortise uh, Snyder, or Snyder, excuse me. And I'm butchering all these names, I'm sorry. He's averaging almost 10 fantasy points a game, and I look for him to get, you know, somewhere between 8 and 15 on this one. And then Latang uh, uh, for Detroit. Uh, I look for him to have an opportunity to get over 12 to 15 fantasy points in this matchup. Uh, I, I think he's going to have more upside in this than maybe his price indicates. And then... Finally, Tony D'Angelo, or Anthony D'Angelo, um, he has been somewhat inconsistent. Uh, he's been a little bit inconsistent this season, but overall he's averaging 10 fantasy points a game. And in this matchup, I think he can get 10 to 15, especially on the high end of that. So overall, there's some really good plays, I think, on the slate. Um, I'm probably going to start with the guys that you see listed on my thing here and then kind of build out from that. Um, I might throw in another you know, cheap option in the utility spot and then pay up at these other positions. Uh, but it's going to be pretty easy to build a quality lineup today, I think. So thank you guys for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below and have a nice day.